What's going on guys, it's Bucky and welcome back to your 26th JavaScript tutorial. Now, in one of the tutorials before, I told you guys that there are a couple different ways to create objects. One way is to use something called a constructor function. Well, in this tutorial, I'm going to be talking to you guys about the different type of way, or another way to create objects, and this is called object initializers. An object initializer is a lot faster than a constructor function because it's only one line of code as opposed to a whole function and then creating the object. It pretty much takes everything and squishes it together in one line. And why would you use this and when would you use a constructor function? You would use this whenever you're creating basically only one or two objects of the same type. For example, if you had, if you're creating like 500 person objects then you probably want to use a constructor function but if you're just creating one Bucky object or a Bucky and a Taylor object then this is fine so for this example it's probably a little more easier and this is probably what you want to do when you're just starting out making objects so let's go ahead and in our head since we're just going to be creating our objects now and not typing anything out let's go ahead and create our objects right now so you don't use the keyword var and you don't use the keyword new. The only thing you need to do when making object initializers is type the name of whatever you want your object to be named. And I want my object to be named Bucky. And go ahead and set that equal to all the properties you want to set it equal to, whatever it is. So like before, we made a constructor function that had a name and an age. Well now, let's go ahead and do the same thing. So in order to do that, go ahead and write the name of the property, which is name, then add a colon. Now after this, you write the value which you want it to equal. So I want the name of Bucky to be Bucky Roberts. And now you say, all right, we want another property now. So in order to do that, just go ahead and separate it with a comma, and then go ahead and type the name of the property, which is age, and set this equal to whatever value you want to be equal to, 24. So as you can see, instead of writing each property on a separate line with the constructor function, all you do now is separate your properties with a comma, and go ahead and list the property, colon, value, property, colon, value. And I have two properties in here, but you can have a thousand if you want. The only thing you have to remember is separate them all with a comma. Pretty cool, huh? So now let's go ahead and make another object. So, 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 so what the heck, what am I Chinese? Just so we can see more clearly what's going on. So I'll go ahead and make that other Taylor object just like before. And sorry if I offended any oriental people there. But, but uh, one of the properties is name. And I would want this to be equal to Taylor Swift. And another property is age. So go ahead and add my comma, property age. And for the value is 20. So now we have two objects. Bucky's name is Bucky Roberts. Taylor's name is Taylor Swift. Bucky's age is 24. Taylor's age is 20. Easy enough. So now, just like before, the body can be the exact same. Anytime you want to use your object, it's no different than before. Just go ahead and write your object name, like Bucky, and then go ahead and write whatever property you want to use, like age, name, whatever. So let's go ahead and take a look at a quick example. Document dot write and go ahead and write like Bucky name loves Taylor name because she is Taylor age now let's see if I mixed anything up or messed it up whatever Bucky Roberts loves Taylor Swift because she is 20. Pretty cool. So like before, we can see that whenever we want to use one of these properties, just go ahead and write the object, property, object, property, object, property. Simple enough, eh? So now we see that we have two different ways we can make objects using object initializers, which are these, or using constructor functions and like I said if we had more than two people like Bucky, Taylor, John, Steven, uh, Tony, Mikey, Maddie, we would have 
to I mean we won't have to but it's probably better to use a constructor function but now that we only have one or two objects using um, an object initializer is fine so that's when you would use object initializers as opposed to constructor functions so for now that's all I have for you um, in the next tutorial I don't know what I'm gonna be talking about but trust me it's gonna be awesome so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe don't forget to check out my website yada 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 and I'll see you later